And these are the new stingrays. They are pure mantillas eating chopped seafood. Very, very cool fish. I still have two of the Maturo cross mantillas available. Look at him covered in sand eating his breakfast slash dinner. Whatever time it is, it's dinner time. They're so cool. These guys will get very, very huge. They're gonna max out at about that sort of 60 to 70 centimeter disc diameter. The males are a little bit smaller, but you want to tank at least six foot by three foot front to back for a male to keep them ideally long term. Look at that. Who doesn't want a stingray? Full fresh water. And we have some peacock bass left. Anyway, to the video. And we always get stingrays after the unboxing video. Welcome back to Paul's Aquariums unboxing. I am Paul. These are aquariums. There's a box down here. There's actually three boxes. There's two boxes of tons of awesome fish and there is one huge, really, really nice fish. Hopefully that'll be in the second box. We'll find out. But the first box in the first bag, what have we got? We have five banded barbs. These are nice. These are like a tiger barb, but longer with more stripes and a slightly different color. So where the tiger barbs are kind of black and yellow or orangey striped, these ones are sort of a purpley color on a reddy orange body. Really, really nice, a little bit narrower, a little bit nippy, the same as a tiger barb, but equally as awesome, if not more awesome. They go well with tiger barbs, with slightly bigger tetras, all that sort of stuff. Don't keep them with guppies and things that are delicately tailed. Yeah, that's a word. Don't keep them with things that are delicately tailed, otherwise they will lose that tail. And the second bag we have Dwarf chain loaches. They are really, really nice little fish. So these are the best fish for eating snails in community tanks. They are schooling, so you want to get three or so of them. They stay small, so like under five centimeters. Really cool, peaceful fish. They will try and eat baby fish, like little guppies and stuff like that, but they're not going to harass guppies with big tails or anything like that, like the bigger loaches and stuff will. As I said, they stay small, they eat snails. They are a lovely golden color with little marble patterns to them. All round awesome fish. So if you want something that eats snails, they are probably one of the better ones to go for if you've got a smaller tank, up to like four foot or so. We have our first catfish. We have, looks like common whiptail catfish. Lovely guys again. They look like a twig. These are not twig catfish, these are whiptail catfish. They don't whip cats with their tails. They're a catfish, they have a whip-like tail. That's probably where the name came from. <laughs> they are really, really nice. Uh, super peaceful, algae eaters. You can keep them with most smaller fish. Obviously, bigger fish are gonna try and eat them if they can see them, but they do move. And being a catfish, they kind of move in front of the big predatory fish, so that is the end of them. Silly catfish. We have another bag of catfish. Oh, and these are whiptails as well. These are long-nosed whiptail catfish. They're called long nose whiptail catfish, why? Because they have a long nose and they're a whiptail catfish. <laughs> Whoever names these fish? Wow, they nail it every time, don't they? But again, very, very cool fish. These will get a little bit bigger than the last ones. The last ones only get about that 10, 12 centimeters. These guys get about 18 centimeters or so, which is pretty big. Big shovely nose on them, kind of cool. I keep both species at home. They are lovely, lovely fish. Oh, our first angelfish. So these are a different genetic variation of a normal angelfish. These are called a clown angelfish because they've got spots and stuff. I don't know how you get clown out of that. I mean, if they had a red nose and rode like a little unicycle, sure, clown, clown. Or, you know, it was creepy in a creepy movie, clown. But these have just got spots instead of stripes. We'll see how they color up. I am kind of keen to keep some of those because I haven't kept them and I have to keep every single fish imaginable. We have another bag of black emperor tetras and they're a decent size too. Really, really nice fish. Black with a cool glowing blue or green eye to them. Peaceful, you can get along with most other tetras. They are pretty big, so you can get away with barbs and stuff with them as well all round awesome fish if you want a slightly different type of tetra. That was box number one. We're going to box number two. Two, 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 two. No, box number two. And it is box number two, right here. Where box number one was, surprisingly. <laughs> it's the magic, the magic of whatever we are in right now. Oh, 
I'm looking at them as you're looking at them. They look like chocolate cichlids. So a good, nice, lovely American cichlid. Very, very cool. They're very flighty in the bag. I might have to put those down, but I think there are a couple of bags of them. So chocolate cichlids will get quite big. They color up really nice, which is weird calling them a chocolate cichlid because you'd think they'd be brown. They're brown when they're little. When they're bigger, they have all sorts of colors on them. As you can see on the one, on the one, on the one on my face right now, that is an adult male chocolate cichlid. They get around that sort of 25, 30 centimeters, peaceful. They've got a big mouth, so they're gonna eat tetras and little neons and stuff. But you can keep them with things like oscars and other bigger fish that aren't too aggro. All around pretty awesome fish. They get the big humpy thing as they mature as well. A really nice fish if you want something big, colorful, that you don't see that often because you don't for some reason. I'm not too sure. I don't even keep them. That's weird. I have kept them though. They are nice fish. In this bag, we have cutie loaches. Look how big they are. They are a nice fish. So super peaceful. They're like an eel, but they're not. They're more related to a catfish than an eel. They rummage around the bottom, peaceful. They won't really even eat shrimp. They'll annoy the crap out of shrimp. Like really annoy shrimp because they're forever swimming near the shrimp. But they won't eat a shrimp unless the shrimp is dead or dying. They will try and eat a baby shrimp, but you would have to have the baby shrimp near its mouth for it to just go. Another really nice community fish if you want something to go with your tetras and all that sort of stuff. And talking about tetras, we have some tetras. These guys are bloodfin tetras. There's two different species. There's the glass bloodfins and the normal bloodfins. Well, two different species that we can get in Australia, I should be saying. There's probably a billion different ones in South America. But these guys look like they're transparent ones, a little red tail to them. They look innocent, but they are nippy. So they are going to nip your guppy tails. They're okay with other tetras, so you can keep them with like neons and glow lights and Pristilla tetras, all that sort of stuff. But anything with a big, delicate tail is just gonna get nipped, 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 nipped. They are back in stock. Oh, they're nice. We have some calico bristlenose. Looks like calico bristlenose and maybe one long thin albino. So long fin calico bristlenose, I should say. Lots of feathery fins on them. They look more like feathers than they look like fins. Awesome, awesome fish. What can I say? They're all awesome fish. We don't really get fish that aren't awesome, do we? No, why would we do that? These are awesome as well. <laughs> So these are ember tetras. They are super, super small. So that's almost the adult size in the bag. They go bright red. Probably because they're called ember tetras and embers are red, kind of, or orange, orangey red. Very, very small fish. They max out about two and a half to three and a half centimeters. So about half the size of a neon tetra. Schooling, peaceful. Obviously don't keep them with bigger fish, but they are great in community tanks and all that with all your smaller little guys. There's another fish that we don't get very often. So these are your golden dwarf cichlids. Awesome little fish from South America again. Peaceful. They don't get much bigger than about five, six centimeters. Hopefully there's males and females. I haven't had a close look at them yet, but if you can see them on the screen and you can make out males and females, we in fact have males and females then. Very cool fish. You can get them with tetras, most other peaceful community fish. They like heavily planted areas so they can just do their thing and chill. All round, really, really nice fish. What do we got in there? We have some longfin cherry barbs. Longfin cherry barbs, again, are really cool fish. Bright red cherry they go, the females go barb. They have long fins. Peaceful, super, super peaceful. So great to keep with guppies, tetras, neons, all the nice, cool little baby fish that you can keep in smaller tanks. Not really baby fish, small fish that you can keep in little tanks. Lovely fish. They will colour up a lot more than you see on the screen. Takes them a few days to colour up, but unfortunately we usually sell out before they colour up. There are display ones in the shop, so if you want to come in, you can see them. Another longfin fish, we have longfin albino corridorus. Very cool fish again. So we are expecting some local bred ones. These ones are from down south. I am breeding these myself as well at home. Well, I saved some eggs the other day. That's how small they are. There, there they are. They are on screen up there. That is my little baby ones that have just hatched. They're like three or four days old. 
Those are the ones in this bag now. We're time traveling. <laughs> it gets technical. Whoa. But they are really nice fish. Look at the big flowing tails on them. So again, super, super peaceful. And I think, oh wait, there is another bag. We have Cardinal Tetris. So I don't know if it was the week before or the week before that, when we ordered Cardinals, we got Albinos. These look like the normal Cardinals. They all pale up in the bag and we wondered why they didn't color up and it's like, ah, they're Albino. But the Albino Cardinals are awesome. So congratulations to everyone that got Albino Cardinals. These are the normal ones. They are back in stock and they look all lovely and healthy. Pretty sure that was all in box number two. We're going to box number three. And box number three has one awesome fish in it. Let's go to box number three. Are you excited? Because it's exciting. It's a $500 fish. Now, there's only one available. I want to take it home because I like to keep all the fish. <laughs> but it is available. Oh, look at me knocking the camera. That is a huge bag. That is how big this guy is. It is a Saratoga, so that is a Giardini Saratoga or a Giardini Arowana as you call them overseas. They, I'm going to put him down because he's heavy and he needs to acclimatize and go in the tank. They get huge, so about two and a half, three foot, which is like 90 centimeters. Very big. You'll need a tank about two and a half foot to three foot wide by six or eight foot long to keep them. Small now, so he's like 30 centimeters. Say that's at least 30 centimeters. So you'd want about a six by two by two for him now. In a year or two's time, you would want to upgrade to something bigger. Very, very cool fish. Super aggressive fish too. So they're going to attack most other bigger fish. Um, there are two different species of Saratoga or Australian Arowanas in Australia. These are the Giardinis from right up the Northern Territory. This is Yelikati, which is more along the coast and where we live in Brisbane. They will tolerate the cold. These guys don't like the cold. So you want it between 25 and 30 degrees for these guys, but they have really cool little speckles. As you can kind of see on the screen, that is him there. It might be a she, I'm not too sure. You can tell by the jaw as they get bigger, because the males hold the babies and the eggs in their mouth. Very cool fish, but I have one available. If you would like him, message me on social media. Otherwise, I'll take him home if he doesn't sell. <laughs> so if you want to know more about him, just talk to me and I can tell you lots and lots about him. They have lovely little whiskers too, or barbells, or whatever you want to call them. Whiskers. Whiskers. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, congratulations. Is there a code word? Yes, there is. Here it is. Ah, you got the code word. Congratulations on that. If you'd like to see more unboxing videos, click that. If you'd like to subscribe, that'd be wonderful, click that. If you want to see something completely different, click that. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!